Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a user registration form for your WordPress site by using the WP Forms plugin. A user registration form gives the user the option to create their own WordPress account on your website in a much easier way by allowing them to fill out all the necessary information themselves rather than you doing it for them. You can control what information you need before creating an account and can even specify what level of access a new user will have once the form has been submitted and their account has been approved and activated. A registered user will then be able to log into your site via the WordPress user login page and will be able to view their own account page within the WordPress dashboard. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the Settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the Downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get started. We'll first need to go to the Add-ons page to activate the user registration add-on on our site. Go to WP Forms, Add-ons, scroll down to find the user registration add-on, and click on the Install Add-on button. Once it's done, the add-on status will appear as active, and you're all set. We can head over to the form builder by scrolling over to the left and clicking on the Add New option. Once inside the form builder, we can give our form a name, and for the sake of simplicity and saving some time, we'll go ahead and use the User Registration Form Template. The User Registration Form Template comes with some standard fields, like a field for a user's name and their email address, but it also includes a field for their new username, a password, and a small text area for users to share some additional information about them, like a short bio. If you'd like to collect any additional information from your user, you can find the field on the left-hand side and drag it over to the right. Once you're done setting up your form fields, we'll go over to the Settings tab on the left and click on the User Registration tab. On the User Registration Settings page, you'll see quite a few mapping options. You'll be able to select and map the fields from your form to the corresponding field in a user's profile page on the WordPress dashboard. So for example, in the first field called Username, you'll select a field on your form where the user will enter the new username they will use to log into their account on your site. In the second field called Name, you would select the form field where the user entered their first and last name, and so on. If there are some fields that don't apply to you because you didn't ask for that information, like a user's website, you can leave that field as is. Next up is the user role, which is the role that will automatically be assigned to that user once their account is activated and ready to go. Depending on your needs, you can choose anything from subscriber to administrator, but keep in mind that you can only select one option. Next, you can decide whether or not you'd like for WordPress to automatically send an email to the user containing their account information, send the email to the admin, and whether or not you'd like to allow the user to activate their account themselves. Since enabling user activation will help prevent spam registrations, we highly recommend enabling this option. If you check this third box, you'll see two additional drop-down fields appear, one for the user activation method and for the User Activation Confirmation page. For the User Activation method, you have two options, User Email or Manual Approval. If you select User Email, the user will receive an email that contains a link that they need to click on to activate their new account. Manual Approval will require that you, the site administrator, will need to approve and activate their account for them. The User Activation Confirmation page will determine which page on your site the user will see once they've activated their account. So for example, if you would like a user to see the home page once they've activated their account, you would select that from this drop-down option here. Once you've finished configuring your user registration settings, 
let's go ahead and configure our notification settings. The admin email in this field is the admin email address for your WordPress website, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. If you have email notifications enabled, you'll get a notification whenever a new user fills out the form to create an account on your site. If you use smart tags, you can also send the notification to the user when they create a new account. To do this, you can add the smart tag for the email field from your form and the send to email address field, separating both smart tags with a comma. Make any additional changes to your notification settings, and afterwards, let's configure our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form, message, show page, or go to URL. We'll stay with the default message option for now. Click on the Save button on the top right corner, and we're now ready to embed our user registration form to our site. Go to your dashboard and click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, we'll click on the plus icon below the title and either scroll down to widgets to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the search bar above. We'll then click on our user registration form, hit Publish, and we're all set. Be sure to test your form thoroughly to make sure that everything from submitting the form to receiving the email notifications is working properly. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.